There are now more than half a million Syrian refugees in Jordan. Many are crammed into camps. They fled their homes to become exiles. The majority are women and children with little money and few possessions. They're told when to move and told when to wait. They enter the houses, they rape, they kill in front of our eyes and they shoot. Everything happens there now. But beyond the nowhere land of the camps, many more Syrians are struggling to survive in the cities. And here women can face choices they couldn't have imagined before the war. Jordan provides a refuge. There is at least stability here. But with the economic collapse back in Syria, more and more women are coming here now to work as prostitutes. We've been told of growing numbers operating in brothels here in Amman and in the border areas. The war has created a desperation that is pushing women to sell themselves for money. Using secret filming, we spoke with several women caught up in the trade. One woman said she'd lost her job in Damascus because of the war. But prostitution isn't the only way young Syrian women become a commodity. Others are married off to older men from the Gulf for up to £2,000, money to support their families. They can be sexually exploited and abandoned. As this teenager discovered after two months of marriage, I can't describe him as a man. The way he treated me, he treated me savagely. He was a monster. He was hitting me so much. The bruises are still on my body. He changed and said that I don't love you and I only married you for pleasure. Destitute families approach marriage brokers like this woman, a refugee herself. What do you feel about being involved in making marriages like that? You ask me what I feel about doing this? Ask yourself, how would you feel if one of your children didn't have anything to eat or drink? How would you feel? Answer me and then I'll answer you. Desperately short of resources, the UN and Jordan struggle to provide shelter for refugees, let alone tackle prostitution or the trade in brides. And every day the war scatters more women into a world of agonizing choices. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Jordan.